Good morning, everybody. If you had been in Florence, Italy on this date, February 7, in 1497, you would have noticed a huge fire in the center of the city. Well, a monk or a priest with lots of power, Savonarola was his name, was burning all kinds of great art and painting of the people of Florence. And this is known as the bonfire of the vanities. When you hear the word Renaissance, do you think of a certain location? Well, I think many people think of Italy. So here's the map, starting from the bottom, Naples, Rome, Florence, upper left, Genoa, Milan, upper right, Venice, Bologna. These are the powerful cities and city-states of Italy. Now, how did they get their power? Well, Genoa and Venice, for example, were maritime powers and they got their wealth from sea trade and this is the kind of boat you would have seen in their harbors. But Florence being inland didn't have that but they had banking and uh, the banking houses of Florence had branches all over Europe. And this picture of bankers sitting behind a bench reminds us of the wealth of Florence because of that beautiful embroidered cover that is there. Probably came from Turkey, but uh, pretty expensive to have something like that. Another example of the power of Florence was the coin of Florence. The florin was an accepted international currency in Europe. So the coin of one city is an international currency. The Black Death hit Europe in 1348. Estimates vary on what percentage of the population died. A common one is uh, about a third. And after that was finished, Florence had a big rebound and it and other cities in Italy became known for their elaborate court look and feel. And this was copied all over Europe. So here's a map again of the city-states of Italy and out of all the competition between the city-states and city-state families, one family emerges and that's the Medici family in Florence they had their hands in banking, they had their hands in politics, they had their hands in religion. In fact, three popes from that time period were of the Medici family. And another thing that comes out of Italy is the idea of an ambassador in an embassy. Because the city-states had such political and economic rivalries going on, they felt it important to have people representing them here and there, and that's the beginning of modern diplomacy. That's an Italian contribution. This is Charles VIII, King of France, late 1400s, was invited by the people of Milan in northern Italy to invade Italy to go after the Florentines and the people in Naples. And here's the map of how the French army came into Italy, and they were making a beeline toward Florence, and everybody knew it, including the Florentines. And this guy, Savonarola, a monk, started preaching to the people that God was going to punish the Florentines for all their wealth and high living. In fact, the Medici's left the city for a while. So here's Savonarola preaching, and you note below him you see clothing, books, musical instruments, paintings, poetry. All of this was wicked, according to Savonarola, and it was on this date, February 7, 1497, they had the first burning of these in the big piazza in Florence, and that was known as the Bonfire of the Vanities. But eventually the Florentines got tired of Savonarola, and the next year they burned him at the stake in the same spot. So as you wander through the streets of Florence today, with thousands of tourists, we're struck by the beauty of the buildings, we can sense the power and the might of those families, the Duomo is impressive, and these other buildings are, are really cool. But if you go to that main piazza, you can actually see the spot where the Bonfire of the Vanities happened. Notice the replica of David in the background. And also the place where Savonarola himself was burned at the stake. <laughs>